Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and from the title of this video, you guys know that I'm going to be showing you today how to make the most requested wedding cake design. I've had this request year after year after year. It seems like no matter how many years pass, textured buttercreams and fresh florals never seem to go out of style. This one is being made for my dear, dear friend. We go way back to our university days where we both became teachers and I'm so honored that I get to make her wedding cake for her. So this is a little bit different than what I normally do. I know somebody commented the other day that they felt a little bit anxious that I was pouring this with a cup instead of doing it with a spoon or with a brush. You can use either or you can also use one of those great squeeze bottles that has multi holes so that it all kind of disperses evenly but what I did was I actually put in a simple syrup that was infused with a bunch of tea and as you saw I just stuck in those tea bags and then I also mixed in some of that tea with the buttercream that's in the center. I don't want any of those actual tea leaves showing on the outside. We want this to be a pure white or ivory color. Alternatively, if you don't like the crunch of the tea leaves, I actually used an American buttercream for this and I'll explain why in just a little bit. But when making the American buttercream, instead of using just the regular water that I normally use, you can actually use just a little bit of tea instead to infuse it. But I will say that using the tea leaves makes a much, much stronger flavor. Now there are a couple reasons why I used American buttercream. I find American buttercream can stand up to the heat a little bit better than meringue based buttercreams. So I went with that because we are going through a heat wave. So I want to make sure that everything is going to be super, super stable. The other reason is that making American buttercream is a little bit cheaper than making meringue based buttercreams. And I'm just going to be placing this on a cake dummy. A lot of cakes nowadays I find people are leaning towards doing the fake cake, especially with some of the restrictions still in place. And where I live, at least, it is very expensive to get your cake cut at some of the venues downtown. I've seen some places charge up to $5 a slice for a cake cutting fee. So a lot of people rather skip that expense and instead just let their guests enjoy the desserts that usually come with the set menus. Now, all I'm doing here is the exact same thing I would with a regular cake, except I can skip the crumb coating portion. And notice I'm leaving things kind of messy because the pictures that my friend sent me for the textured buttercream look were quite messy. In fact, with this, the messier the better. So I'm not gonna be too, too perfect with this. I'm just gonna take the spatula and slide it all the way through. Now there are different things that you can purchase out there where they can actually put some textures in there for you, but they turn out really, really perfect. So you really have to note when you're looking at a picture whether something was done with the spatula where it's quite messy or if it's very very perfect chances are it is done with some sort of special scraper now the bride and groom in this instance couldn't decide on just one texture so we decided to go with three different tiers so we could make sure that both of their input was in this cake now the key I find with a cake like this is just to make sure that those layers underneath are really nice and straight and everything is even or else if everything is too messy looking it ends up not looking like how it's supposed to. Now of course I have an easy job because these are cake dummies and if you want to know where I purchased these I purchased these at a local cake shop called Scoop and Save and I will link them down in the description box below. Now you might be wondering why am I putting a dowel on here when clearly these are already glued together and they're not going to move. Well I needed to place that real tear on top and I want to make sure that there's going to be no possibility of sliding whatsoever. So I want to make sure this is as structurally sound as possible. Now although we want to make sure that all of our cakes are structurally sound, this is very, very important for a wedding cake. Now you could leave the edge totally raw, but I decided to add on this little pearl border at the request of my friend. Now prior to putting on that top layer, I should mention that I did refrigerate that for almost 24 hours just to make sure that I wouldn't ruin the integrity of the sides. Now I'm placing in my florals. I ran out of tin foil just yesterday, so I'm just using some plastic wrap. Use whatever you can just to make sure that it's food safe and that the flowers aren't actually touching the inside of the cake that people are going to consume. You'll notice too that I offset my cake. I offset all of my cakes whenever brides ask me to put on flowers because if I don't do that, there's going to be no room for those larger flowers. And honestly, not many people are actually going to look at the back of the cake. Though of course you want to make sure that if this is a cake that's going to be seen from all the way around, that you make sure it's decorated appropriately all the way around. But I know that this is going to be only facing one direction. Now let's get into the pricing guys. And I will say that this is definitely on the cheaper end for 
any wedding cakes. I would say this is probably one of the cheapest styles of wedding cakes that you can get, aside from maybe a naked or semi-naked cake. Once again, guys, I do live in a very expensive part of the world, so it's best to look at my videos as a series and kind of see the differences between the pricing of my different cakes. That way you'll get a really good idea of how maybe you should price your cakes rather than just pricing them exactly as I do. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!